You won't believe shocking new discovery of treasure discovered 300 feet under mountain. The crew that has been drilling in the highlands of the Philippines is on the cusp of making a significant discovery. They have already drilled deeper than the planned goal depth for the treasure chamber, and there is danger that they will emerge from the opposite side of the mountain. They eventually hit a vacuum space after adding one more rod to the drilling apparatus, and they are eagerly anticipating what they might find inside. To them, they has just discovered treasure 300 feet under mountain. After a long and difficult trek, the team believes they have finally arrived at the treasure vault since the camera is revealing what appear to be man-made artifacts, including what look to be boxes. Everyone is astonished and ecstatic at the discovery, which proves that they are currently 300 feet under the waterfall. This is the location where it is supposed that the wealth is hidden. The group has made it to the spot where they believe the wooden chests stuffed with plunder from World War II are buried at last. The air is thick with excitement as they discuss their plans to recover the boxes, but their party is rudely cut short when they hear the sound of a helicopter. They are aware that this attention is unwelcome and recognize the urgency of the situation. They make the difficult decision to tunnel into the mountain, which necessitates additional time and resources to complete. In the meantime, they investigate potential new locations using a treasure map, concentrating their efforts on an isolated island known as Char Gao. The group follows the map to a location that seems promising, fueling their hope that they would have another opportunity to locate Yamashita's riches. They are pushed forward by their resolve and self-assurance, since they are certain that they will be successful in recovering the treasure in some manner or another. The Yamashita treasure, sometimes called Yamashita's gold, is the term given to the purported war plunder stolen in Southeast Asia by Imperial Japanese forces during World War II. It is said to have been hidden in caves, tunnels, or underground complexes in several towns around the Philippines. It was named after the Japanese general Tomoyuki Yamashita, who was known as the Tiger of Malaya for his rapid conquest of Malaya from the British within 70 days. Even though there are stories that claim the gold is still buried in the Philippines, and that it has attracted treasure hunters from all over the world for more than 50 years. The existence of the treasure has been disproven by the vast majority of specialists. The purported wealth was at the center of a contentious legal dispute that was brought before a state court in Hawaii in the year 1988 by a Filipino treasure hunter by the name of Rogelio Rojas and the former president of the Philippines by the name of Ferdinand Marcos. John, an American construction contractor, is certain, along with a large number of other people, that the Japanese General Tomoyuki Yamashita concealed treasure worth billions of dollars that was stolen by Japan during World War II someplace in the Philippines, including maybe in this mountain. The Japanese are responsible for transporting the crates up the mountain. An eyewitness reportedly stated that unknown wooden crates were dragged up this mountain by prisoners of war and concealed in tunnels, which were subsequently destroyed. On the basis of that narrative, John pursued a string of cryptic symbols to three potentially fruitful locations, including a waterfall. Something mysterious is being concealed by this waterfall. A father and son mining team, Geo and Levi, as well as father and son geophysicists, Max and Colin, and Rick Hurt, who previously explored this mountain, have all joined the hunt. They discovered a tunnel the previous year. If they are successful in opening up the tunnel, it might be the key to everything. The three most important ones were the waterfall, the tunnel site, and breach six. Breach six was the breach. The task of clearing the tunnel has been assigned to miners Levi and Geo. The bottom line was that they weren't going to know what the heck is going on until they got inside of this tunnel. This was the only way they were going to find out. Levi and Geo, two miners, get an early start the following morning to continue their work on the tunnel. During the process of excavating the entry, they will need to construct a support fence to prevent any rock falls from occurring. The miners can now begin excavating the tunnel entrance without risking their safety, because the surrounding region has been safeguarded. They were incapable of even comprehending what lay in front of them. It was well known that General Yamashita dug underground tunnels and buried wealth deep within the mountains. If they hadn't intended for this to be long-lasting, they wouldn't have included all of that lumber in it. It was time to enter that location and look for the treasure. 
John finally gets his first glance at the reopened tunnel as a new day breaks on the mountain. He had intended to connect it to a network that would eventually lead him to the riches. During the course of World War II, Japan was responsible for the captivity of around 27,000 military personnel and sailors from the United States. It is speculated that Yamashita put those POWs to use in order to construct his massive network of treasure tunnels by utilizing the labor of those POWs. It would appear as though there are numbers that are comparable to this down the tube that is there on the post. There were numerals painted on the wall that followed the American format. It seemed as if they had been painted on there, almost as if they had been bleached onto the post. It appeared as though they had been painted on there. The two experts, John Casey and Peter Struzzieri, who lead the Lost Gold team in unearthing hidden secrets, are currently leading a hunt for a lost treasure in the mountains of the Philippines. They are looking for gold that was supposedly buried there. According to the urban legend, a great Japanese commander named Yamashita buried a treasure containing gold, diamonds, and numerous artifacts because he was afraid that the Allied forces would steal the riches from him. Yamashita's fear was that the Allied forces would steal the fortune from him. He hid the riches because he was afraid that the Allied forces would take it from him. After the war, in February 1946, Yamashita was put to death by hanging, and when he passed away, he took the piece of information that pointed to the location of the wealth with him. We had the sense that the secret could not be revealed until the series The Lost Gold of World War II, in which the show uncovered five previously undisclosed details concerning Yamashita's treasures. We were under the impression that the secret could not be revealed until the series. Have you subscribed yet? Do so now for more interesting discoveries. Also, do not forget to hit that notification bell to be the first to know when the next post is up. The strange old man who is an eyewitness and the one who saw multiple boxes of treasure being transferred by Yamashita soldiers is the most important piece of information in this treasure hunt. He watched the Yamashita soldiers moving the treasure. The Filipino farmer who made the accusation stated that he had parted with his cattle in order to offer them to the military. They are dependent on the assistance of animals to help them carry the treasure up into the hills. After concealing the wealth, they sealed off the tunnels with explosives to prevent anyone from finding it. If Casey and Struzieri are going to be successful in their hunt for buried wealth, they are going to require Grandpa. According to a number of different sources, the wealth is claimed to have been initially centralized in Singapore and then relocated to the Philippines at a later time. This information comes from both historical and contemporary accounts. Following the conclusion of the conflict, the Japanese intended to return to their home islands in Japan and bring with them the spoils of victory from the Philippines. During the course of the Pacific War, Allied airplanes and United States Navy submarines were responsible for a growing number of destructive sinkings of Japanese commercial ships. These sinkings were carried out by an increasing number of merchant ships. Several of the ships that were bringing the spoils of war back to Japan from other countries were sunk while the conflict was going on. You will not believe what scientists just discovered. Treasure Box? Click on the next video to find out more.